What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. I'm in a different spot today. Um, we're house sitting so I don't have my tripod here and I'm like propped up but next to a lamp. That's my light. <laughs> um, but I'm on a no buy and I'm just like it helps me <laughs> it helps me to get through. I feel so silly saying that because like a no buy I feel like it shouldn't be such a big deal but for those of us like myself who just are obsessed with buying new makeup it is a big deal and what helps me get through is like talking through it and using the makeup that I have so I packed a makeup bag to go with me where we're house sitting and I'm just gonna use what I have in here um, normally when I make videos I'm at my vanity where I have all of the makeup that I own um, but I'm just gonna, I packed a lot, so it's all good. There has just been so many things that I want to get. And I think honestly, the biggest problem is that when I, um, I'm thinking about which, I think I'm going to start with the Kosas. Oh, I actually need to go get a beauty sponge. One sec. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the Purito BB Cream. I actually have a backup of this that I got when I first found out about Purito BB Cream because I was so impressed and it's so cheap. I didn't want it to like sell out. Um, but I think I was saying that I think my biggest issue, and this is in the shade 13 Neutral Ivory, is that when I started wearing, when I started my no buy, my makeup not necessarily style but like preferences preferences changed so like before i didn't care for highlighters at all um and i did i didn't care for like anything glowy on my face i didn't have very much eyeshadow palettes and i didn't really care about them and now i don't know <laughs> why all that's changed but now i just want all the glowy stuff and it's really frustrating because I'm on a no I put myself on a no buy until the end of the year so I am today's June 11th I'm 11 days in <laughs> and there's so many things I want to get and like thank god I'm on a no buy because I need that I, I need to like calm down with my spending it's hard to see in this light I mean, you can see it's really skin-like and glowy, but it's kind of hard to see the difference, I feel like, in this lighting. Maybe not. I feel like, actually, you can. Um, but, yeah. Side note, I tried the Thrive Cosmetics eyeliner. I saw on their website they were having a sale where you get, like, $2 off the mascara and another product if you buy, like, bundles. And so I bought the... Uh, eyeliner and mascara for $22 each so it came in a pack for $44 only because I had a, a store credit with them and actually I think I ordered that before my no buy I don't remember but I had a store credit so I didn't need to actually pay anything and the eyeliner is trash I was really surprised because it's like um it says it's waterproof and everything and like Thrive stuff is super hyped but I don't know if you can tell all that smeared black on both sides and like throughout the day it honestly just like darkened my entire under eye their mascara is bomb i will forever purchase their mascara but the eyeliner really really disappointed me so i will be definitely returning it because it is i don't know like why what's the waterproof factor about it because it comes off instantly with the rub of my finger and if it comes off with a touch i don't understand the point of it being waterproof like that's not gonna like I thought waterproof meant like longevity, like it's going to stay on longer because it's harder to get off, right? No, I don't know. Maybe I don't understand what uh, waterproof is supposed to mean. But next I'm going to go in with, I'm going to set a tiny bit with the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. I am in the shade uh, 140W. And what I, and I only have this brush with me, which is not my preferred brush for this powder because it's a little bit more of a heavier powder than a setting powder, but it's okay. Um, what I was saying is that I feel like, oh, I forgot to put concealer on. I'm going to go in with Item Beauty and I'm in the shade 110, the, their Air Hug Concealer. 
um what i wanted to say is that i the reason i feel like this no buy is really hard for me right now is because now i want all this dewy stuff i want to try the vita labrada that i've been wanting to try and i just never bought it but now like i really want it because i want that glowy base i want to try the by the way i just realized or i just saw online when i was looking for like um radiant primers or just like radiant bases the Shantikai Radiance Elixir. Okay, I get Shantikai is a very bougie or like very pricey brand. $212. And that's not even their most expensive item. So that blew me away. I did not like... I know most of their base products are $80. I've tried their tinted moisturizer before, which their shades just don't work for me. Their formulas are really nice. I have I have a sample of their uh, skin. What is it called? Future Skin but I don't care for it because to me it's identical to the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator and that one's five dollars and I have a sample of the Future Skin and I just never use it which makes me think I definitely don't need to invest in the bottle or like the full jar if I have it and I don't use it because I have a five dollar option that is just as amazing. Now I'm all into the to the dewy stuff so like I really want to try the Vita Lerato, I really want to try the e.l.f. serum primer, it's ten dollars so like if I broke my no buy, it's, you know, not the end of the world, but I'm not going to do that. I did tell myself I could get something for my birthday, which is the end of September. So we'll see. But for right now, I don't, I'm not breaking my no buy. So yeah, so I want to get the e.l.f. primer serum. I really want the Vita Labrada. I want um, the... Bare Minerals Blonzer and Kiss of Pink because that gives a really nice sheen. <laughs> I want the Shantikai, uh, what is it? their new, their limited edition. I hate their packaging, the neon color packaging. I think it's like, looks super cheap. Um, but I really want the, the, the bronzer because it has, looks like a really pretty sheen. So yeah, I'm just like... I want all those things so if you've tried and you think some of them are just not worth it let me know <laughs> so i feel better um i love this elf powder by the way for my eyeshadow i purchased um pyt before my no buy um for i believe 14 dollars macy's was having a like 10 days of beauty and I am shocked that this powder is $35 full price. I would never pay $35 for a tiny shadow like this. Plus, uh, these uh, glitters are very dry. Like, that one is very dry to the touch. It's not, it's not a bad formula. And it, it has, like, those sheens in there. Um, this color right here. I'll, I think they all have, like, different shifts in them. But they're all very dry, and same with that last one. And that, compared to one of my all-time favorites, is this uh, $4 um, Essence. I mean, the I, I've barely had it, and the writing is coming off on from the palette, but I don't care about that. Like, for me, I really care about how palettes perform and their price. So, like, for this one, these two are so insanely creamy, and they go on the eye so beautifully and they're not dry at all and they're just so much better than like these really expensive ones so but because i want to just use the um the new one that i got the pyt i'm gonna go in with the shadows from there so i think i'm gonna start with and i'm just gonna do a really quick eye look because i'm just doing my makeup for fun right now i'm gonna be probably washing it off shortly after this um, but I'm just going to start with this. Seems like a pretty good neutral shade. And the other thing I noticed about PYT is the colors, for me at least, they come off different um, how they look in the palette compared to the swatch. So like this color to me looks like, like a cool toned brown. But I feel like when I swatch it, there's a lot more like purple and mauviness that comes out of there. Maybe I'm not seeing something right, but that's what it looks like to me. So, to me, they end up looking a little bit less neutral than what I think they actually look like. 
but I do think that the formulas are really, really nice. I love the formulas and, um, but that's why I love sales because I would, I would never buy this palette for $35. I do not think it's worth it one bit. I would rather get several of the Essence palettes to have different, um, like shades. I've also been learning lately that for like hooded eyes like mine, it's really important to go up like almost to the brow bone to like really open up um open up your eye and like i saw this lady on tiktok actually i'll post i'll sh uh, add a one of her youtube videos onto the description box um but she especially with smoky eyes she talks a lot about like um windshield wiper movements and then when you're going in to blend it blend everything towards the top is to go in circular motions and so i'm gonna start doing that and hopefully my eyes eye looks look prettier um but to do something a little bit extra i think i'll go in with let's do i feel like this one's just gonna come off like really bright pink like magenta yeah um this other color or which one did i swatch <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to go in with that color right there. It's a little bit more dark purple. And just, again, I'm just doing this for fun. So I don't know what this is going to turn out to be. But just in the outer corner. And then I'll blend it out. I think my issue with like, because I feel like I'm not super good at, at eyeshadow looks. And I think, wow. <laughs> I think my issue is that I just kind of over blend everything without keeping different colors in different sections of the eye. But at the same time, I see these people that just like combine six shades to make these like gorgeous looks. And I'm like, how? Because whenever I do mine, they all just look like one blended dirty color. Got a lot of practice to do there. I'm going to go back in with a tiny bit of concealer because I kind of went a little far accidentally with the finger swatch there to start for my bronzer i'm going to go in with this phase zero contour shade i absolutely love this palette there's no shade names but it's just the three different shades um i feel like this is like the perfect contour shade cool tone that is hard to find in other palettes um but i do have to like be somewhat careful with it because i feel like it can get muddy because I do have pretty fair skin. And then for blush, I'm going to go in... First, I'm going to go in with the uh, Snicker or Sugar Cookie. I was going to say Snicker too. <laughs> sugar Cookie and the Candy Paints. And this is their highlighter. And I'm going to go in with the same brush that I put my uh, bronzer on with. I use this brush for highlighter, bronzer, blush, everything. So I feel like, you see that glow? I feel like they're, um, the reason I bought this highlight is because their blush that comes in the same um, packaging, because I know now they have different kinds of, ugh, this is so uncomfortable. I know now they have different uh, blush. I know they have like, I think the liquid ones and I know they also have powdered ones. But what I love about this one is I can just go in, I love pans where I can go straight in the pan with the brush. I can put it straight on my face. I don't have to like draw in with a tube or anything or stick, I mean. And I love the like glass skin look. Um, but I feel like the blush that was in this format was dewier than the actual highlighter, which is a tiny bit annoying, but that's okay. And then to top it off, I'm going to go in with this. Alme blush in the shade so peachy. I really like it. It's one of my go-tos. I wear um, it's one of my very few powder blushes, um, but I really like it. And I love that highlighter because you can see even though I put powder blush on top, it's still very, very glowy and like and then also because this highlighter doesn't set, um, this is perfect because the powder blush tames it a tiny bit but it's still tacky and it still shines through um i was also after actually i think this was before the no buy that i was considering buying the the i think it was in the shade kava from merit their uh stick highlighter and also the essence highlighter because it's five dollars 
that's one product that I will still allow myself to buy on the snow buy because I was planning on buying it anyways and I never got to it and then I started my no buy so if I like really at some point want that I'm, I'll allow myself to get it I actually want to top my blush off with this honest the cream in the shade rose pink I feel like I don't know if this is bad lighting or if there's just not a lot of pink on there right now I might come out and it's gonna be like oh I forgot I have a mirror um uh, a little bit more pink won't hurt it definitely looks a little different in in real life because this lighting is horrible I feel really cool that you know the whole trend of like going over your nose and um, more so putting the blush under your eyes I've been doing that forever to like blend in if the if the uh, concealer was too brightening and then I see it on TikTok and then you're like oh I've already been doing that it's actually gorgeous that's actually so pretty like I'll try to get it in another lighting after this um let's see I look so much better in real life than in the camera but I really like that glow and the, these like colors and shades the other thing I have a problem with is like pink and purple eyeshadows because for myself I feel like I can really quickly go into um looking like I got bruised in the face versus making the look look really nice so I still gotta practice there but I'm gonna go in with PYT brow I find it like identical to the Kosas Airbrow, and so it comes down to your preference of um, the type of brush because that one's a lot shorter, and you probably get a lot. It looks like you get a lot more product in this one, and they. I got this one on sale also at Macy's during that same sale, um, but I think this one is cheaper than the Kosas one, like at the regular prices. The last thing I'm gonna go in with for fun because I feel like I have enough glow, but I just love highlight um also the other reason i want to get that both the essence and the merit highlights is because this is such a chunky palette like this is really hard to travel with because it's so bulky and i only like this shade i'm not gonna probably ever use those two and so for me it's a huge palette to have for one shade so i think maybe like once i buy those other two i'll travel with those and then this one i'll just have at home um but i want to swatch them i got it at cvs in Arizona actually um, so these are the three different shades that's the the one that I prefer the lighter one that's the pink one and then obviously that's the gold one so that's really pretty um, but I do really like the like more the wet dewy kind of a glass skin look instead of powder but I still really want to try the essence powder and I still really want to try the um merit but if you've tried the merit and you've tried the half caked because I know the merit also doesn't set and the half caked one doesn't either so I feel like they're going to be so identical and then I don't really have a highlight brush so this is an old brush that I found and it's probably actually a little bit too dense for this but whatever it was a, one of those sets where you like only pay for shipping and it's really like crappy but it'll work for highlight i this highlight i don't think looks really good if you overdo it so i do have to be careful but i also love how it looks right now i would totally leave it here i just want to play around with makeup right now do you see how that just i need a much better highlight brush though and I love the glow in the cheeks, so I'm just going to apply the highlighter like right in the apple of my cheeks as well. Um, I know for me, and I think this probably is across the board for most people, but a, too much highlighter can make things go kind of gray. So I'm still kind of learning like where that line is for me. Actually, on the other side, I'm going to go in with the pink shade. Maybe it's not a bad shade and I can use it. 
but that's a little heavy. <laughs> yeah, this is, I think this brush is a little, <laughs> I think it's a little bit too much. Let's put some in the brow bone, my nose. Okay, and that is the finished look. I'm just gonna go over with a beauty blender. Just to blend that. I feel like highlighter though, well, like once it's on your face, it's on your face. So you better place it right and you better be happy with it because like it's not really blending on this side. I think I applied it too densely and too heavily. And um, I just need a different brush, but I just love that glow. Anyways, that's it for the face. And then I have two lip products that I have been loving. I love the La Ritzy Cosmetics because for me, it's really similar to the Bare Minerals lip glosses that I found at TJ Maxx. They are not sold anymore in stores, but this one is like the, the both the color and the texture is really similar, but those, the ones from Bare Minerals, were like plumping. And so they're minty, and sometimes I just don't want mint, you know? Like sometimes I don't want a minty lip gloss. But my all-time favorite, and like once I run out of my clear balm from, or Fit Glow Serum from, or the, from Fit Glow, their night serum that I have in clear, um, I am definitely repurchasing this in the clear because this is the Ulta Tinted Juice Infused Lip Oil. And for me, first of all, there are different flavors, smell incredible. But this one for me is extremely similar. And this is $9 and the one from Fit Glow is $42, so way cheaper. And I know it's probably not going to have like the really high end ingredients, but I'm okay with that because I just needed to do that, this for my lips. So anyways, thanks for being here with me and I'll catch you on the next one.